let's check out all the fun flavors Bella Bola has in their menu. You have made quite a few changes since the takeover of Balboa. I have, yes. Tell me a little bit about um, what the, drive you. The biggest, most important change, I think, is the cheese. Um, I went with a company called Grande, which is the best cheese on the market, bar none. Um, and you can really taste and see the difference with the different type of cheese. There's, there's no um, baking sodas or anything on there. It's just pure, fresh cheese. Um, yes. And that's the biggest change. Um, along with the fresh mozzarella, um, all my all my produce now is sourced from across the street at the PH Country Market. Nice. That way, um, it's always fresh, and I I don't have to buy bulk and have a bunch die at the end of the week, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know saves me on costs. My uh, I'm in the middle of negotiating with farmers right now to buy pigs and cows so I can do all farm to table. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I want to, uh, like I can buy a, a pig and have it processed any way I want, so it's going to just be sausage and bacon, the whole thing. So that is fantastic. And, it's yeah. like not just a, it's a, it's not just a pizza store, it's like a farm to table restaurant. I'm trying to be that way as much as possible. I, I just, I feel like our, our food supply is not all that great anymore, and if I can provide something that creates a better, uh, a better flavor and a better for you, more nutritious yeah. value then yeah that's great that's what i'd love to have well customers so, i'm sure they appreciate such a thing i think they appreciate the flavor difference yeah. um, i get a lot of calls every day that says that tell me how much different it has been and how the changes how they like the changes so Good. i um, i'm not used to getting calls like that but <laughs> lately i have been and it's it's nice and how did you get, even get into the restaurant business um, i've been in the i've been in the pizza business most of my life i when i was in college in Florida I started out as a Domino's driver I worked my way up into management then I got into um, other companies such as Domino's and Papa John's I feel like I have more control with my own spot I can make changes yeah. I can make it better um, and when you are an independent pizzeria you have to be better than the Domino's and the Little Caesars out there because you, you just, you can't compete otherwise. And so how lucky were you to actually find a location that you can have, you can have, it's, you're the owner of this you know, I can't this even tell you how now. lucky I was. It was like um, turnkey too. Yeah, it, um, my wife actually was the one who found it. She um, is always looking for new opportunities online and she happened to see this um, on a website and we came in and we liked the pizza. We talked to uh, the, Avery was there at the time. Um, and we talked to him and a couple other people that were there and it just seemed like a decent opportunity. Uh, so I gotta say, I, I love all the changes that you have made this mm -hmm. so far. I like the paninis are great, especially mm -hmm. the fantastic lunch option. And I even saw in there, I mean, you can't go wrong with a pepperoni pizza either. Right? No, absolutely. Like that, I, that's our best seller. <laughs> um, that's every pizzeria's best seller is the pepperoni. Um, and it is, it is a fantastic pizza. All right, do you think Abel will show me? Absolutely, he would. Okay, I'm excited, <laughs> let's try it. Okay. This is the hardest part, is shaping the dough. It is the most fun, though, in my opinion. Okay. So, we always put this corn flour up here on the board, and this is what we use to put it inside the oven. I kind of toss around the flour, and then start to press it out. I mean, you're a pro, look at this. And then I just keep stretching it out over here until it gets about that size. That's when I start to try and pick it up and grab the edge and just kind of let it, let the gravity pull it. Because the gravity of the pizza will pull it out and stretch it. That is so cool. And then really, once you're there, that's pretty much it. It's about basically the right size. So the first step though is the sauce. And so for a 10 inch size, I do like one and a half scoops. And the cheese, we don't have any specific measurements for the cheese, but we have sort of a look for it. Looks about like that. You got sauce peeking through everywhere. It covers the entire pizza. And then the fresh mozzarella. Now the pepperoni pizza only gets a few chunks of this. All right, so is it pepperoni time? Yeah, pepperoni. So this, again, there's no set amount, but it's, again, it's, I tried to just put one after the other, go around the pizza. And then the last step, the Parmesan cheese. Now this, I just sprinkle over the top, 
And then that just adds, makes the pepperoni a little crispier, adds a little flavor to the crust around the edge, and it's just a good little topper at the very end. It makes me smile. Yeah. Hey guys, how'd it go today? So much fun. Uh, yeah, I have glad. three different flavors of pizza and I'm very excited for lunch. You should really enjoy it today. <laughs> if folks at home wants to know everything you guys have in the menu, where should they go? The best place to go is our website. It's www.bellabola.com. Uh, we also have a excellent Facebook presence and an Instagram presence there. Uh, the Facebook will have our pizzas of the month all the time. And we're right here at 309 Huron Avenue, downtown Port Huron. Come on in. Thank you so much, Todd. I really appreciate all your help. Uh, guys, stick around with us as we go around town in downtown Port Huron. Until next time.